Yes, you're gonna love this workout. It's the ultimate 30 minute heavy bag hit workout. Today, in this 30 minute heavy bag hit workout, glove up. If you don't have gloves, you can shadow box 100%. Before each round, I'm showing you what combination to throw so you know exactly what to do in a demonstration. Each round has three segments, one minute hit, 30 second act recovery for three rotations. I'm gonna show you a harder version of the hit set if you want a full body burner, if you always wanna take it up a notch or work into a harder combination. It's the ultimate 30 minute heavy bag hit workout on the Nate Bar Fitness YouTube channel. Let's go. Round number one combo. First set of one minute will be the jab, cross, lead hook, the one, two, three. Okay, get used to that in set number one of round one. And then it's a four, five, six, four, five, six, rear hook, lead uppercut, rear uppercut in set number two of round number one. Let's go. All right, let's put in work. Your tougher option is a push uppercut. Make sure when you push the heavy bag, you go into a squat and throw that uppercut. That's a push squat uppercut. Now, let's get into your warm up. Throw a one, two, three, a jab cross lead hook to lead off round number one. Let's go. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, jab, cross, lead hook. And once again, as we go through your 30 minute heavy bag hit workout, round number one, remember this is a warm up to get your body flowing, the blood pumping in today's workout. If you're new to the Napar Fitness YouTube channel, slow it down a little bit for your first set. It could be a jab, cross, lead hook, a one, two, three. You can work at that speed for sure to get everything moving so you recognize the combination and the punch numbers. 10 seconds. One, two, three, one, two, three. Now we're gonna move into an active recovery for 30 seconds right here. So just hold a nice high guard and move around the heavy bag your shadow box and move around your room. It's a high guard with movement. Movement with a high guard. Imagine shots coming in. You can see them coming in. Easy work, you pick them off. You're moving around so you're not standing still. You're moving targets. And hit set number two. It's a rear hook, the lead uppercut rear uppercut a four five six rear hook lead uppercut rear uppercut let's go four five six four five six now again you can throw that rear hook to the body or to the head find your breathing rhythm here as you throw this combination Four, five, six. Four, five, six, or a four, five, six, if you're new to the channel or new to this style of workout. 20 seconds. Move around the heavy bag every once in a while, change it up. Remember, there's three sets per round in this 30 minute heavy bag hit workout. We're working set number two right now. We're about to move into your active recovery right here and that high guard with movement. Let's go. Easy, easy, easy. You're still slipping. You're still, you can throw in feints, blocks. Move around a little bit with control. You don't want to overstep and waste energy. No energy leaks here. Every step has a purpose. Block every shot coming in. Now let's put those punches together. It's a one, two, three, four, five, six. Jab cross hook, rear hook, lead uppercut, rear uppercut. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's go. That's punches, one to six. All the punches you'll need to know in today's 30 minute heavy bag hit workout. Let's go guys, you're warming up. Round number one, set number three. Your final set 
in your first round of hit and then we'll hit up your last act of recovery. Move a little bit. Feel out this boxing combination. All six punches thrown together. 15 seconds of work. One, two, three, four, five, six. Jab, cross, lead hook, rear hook, lead uppercut, rear uppercuts. Let's go. Movement, active recovery with a high guard. You got it. Your heart rate should be slightly elevated after the end of round number one. For a great performance in today's 30 minute boxing workout. So get the heart rate elevated, move around, mentally prepare to crush today's workout. Here's your next combination. Round number two is a lead hook across to the body and a lead hook again. So it's a three, two body, three. Ready, let's go. All right, your tougher hit option is a two power lunge and then a three, two, three. Two power lunges and then a hook cross hook. You decide. Three to the head, two to the body, three. Let's go. Three, two body, three. Three, two body, three. Three, two body, three. Put in work. It's a slight dip in ribs, so you throw that first hook to the head, the cross to the body, right to the solar plexus, and then throw that other lead hook up top. So it's two lead hooks and one rear cross, one rear shot to the body, and a nice continuous pace. 30 seconds. You gotta let it go to feel the flow, you guys. Don't hold back. You're going to feel the fatigue kick in even in this round, but I still want you to focus, stay dialed in to get it done every single round, every single set, 10 seconds. You got this beautiful work so far and we're just getting started. Active recovery, you're going to go throw two blocks, block, block, head, block, block, body, block, right, block, left to the head, block, right, block, left to the body. Let's go. Block, block, and then body block, body block. Now when you're blocking to your body, think about using kind of an oblique flex to bring that elbow down towards your hip to block a hard hook coming into the body. Three to the head, two to the body, three to the head, then throw another two. So it's a three, two body, three, two. And this combination flows a little easier. Let's go. Three, two body, three, two. Three, two body, three, two. That's it. Three, two body, three, two. Constant work. Again, you can breathe in a rhythm with this one. Right? Sometimes when you're breathing, you make that strong connection to your hands and your breathing patterns. You'll be able to throw with more fluidity and power as you're crushing this hit combo in round number two. 15 seconds. Come on, pick it up, pick it up. 10 seconds. Three, two body, three, two. One more. Movement, again, block, block body body block block to the head block block to the body easy work calm be nice and calm here as you block the shots coming in you do not have to stand still as you're blocking these shots you can be moving slightly backwards moving forward approaching retreating just don't step back too far you ready to throw your last hit combo in this round three to the head Two to the body, three to the head, two to the head. Let's go. Three, two body, three, two. Three, two body, three, two. Max effort. Let's work. Find your core in this set. Find your core to help you extend your arms out. Find your core to help 
bring that hook around and then attach your breathing to those boxing punches. Effort, come on, stamina, power. You're working a 30 minute heavy bag hit workout. It's intense, it's effective. Seven million, the version, the first version of this on the channel. They work, they're hard, and they're really enjoyable when they're done. Come on guys, 10 seconds. You gotta work to finish strong. Four, three, two, one. Beautiful work, beautiful work. Come on, let's go. Block, block. To the head, block, block. Both sides of the body. You got this. Composure. Composure, composure, good. In and out, left to right, right to left. That's it, that's it, four, three, great round you guys. Two, one, beautiful. Here's your next combo. Round number three is a one, six, duck right, duck left. Roll, roll. So it gives you a little time to get your energy back as you go under. Now to power up and a tougher hit option, it's a sprinter lunge one, two, opposite knee, opposite arm, and straight punches, and that drop down squat with the knee drive. Let's go. You decide which one you want. Are you doing the one, six, duck right, duck left, nonstop? Or do you want to amp it up and the first time you go through this 30 minute heavy bag hit workout and do your sprinter squat one, two. But remember, when you start it, you gotta finish it. Ready? Let's go. One, six, duck, duck. One, six, right, left. One, six, rear, lead. Jab, upper, let's go. Yeah, I love this combination. It's a really fluid combination to move into a roll right to left. Roll, roll, bop, bop. Roll, roll. Use your legs, under, under. Power through, yes. Yep, great job you guys, come on. 15 seconds. You got it. Push, 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 push. Five, four, three, two, let's go. Slip left, lead upper cut. Slip to the lead side, lead upper cut. Let's go. Slip, upper cut, movement. The rear shoulders moving into the lead shoulder. Great job, great job. Let's go again. One, six, duck right, duck left. You can add a step as you duck. So it's a one, six, duck and step. One, six, duck and step. Let's go, bop, bop. One, six, duck step, duck step. One, six, duck and step, duck and step. Just like that. Let's go, let's get it. Come on, you guys, don't hold back on me. When your shoulders start to fail on you, if they do, you gotta breathe and use your core and legs to help you. You can do that. You need a strong jab to release that uppercut. Scrape the bag. Yes, come on. You can throw the uppercut from the outside so you have a longer jab. Just like that. Ten seconds, less than ten. Come on. 
Yeah, I love it. We're crushing this. Active recovery, once again, slip to that lead side, throw that lead uppercut. Slip left five. Remember you have three hit sets per round with three active recoveries. Now again, if you're more advanced, you can throw a slip left five two or a slip left five eight. That eight is an overhand right. Let's do it again. One six, duck right, duck left. Again, add that step in to that duck right, duck left. Let's go. One six, duck and step, duck and step. One six, duck and step, duck and step. Yeah, let's go. Make that duck and step really intentional. Get under those hooks. You throw it, your opponent's throwing two wide hooks. Get underneath and counter with that jab rear uppercut. Make them pay for missing and trying to take your head off. Counter it. Duck, duck. Big shots. Get under, get under. Less than 30. Your legs are pulling your torso down. You have control, don't let your torso dip too far forward and lose control, so keep your core tight. Seven, six, five, work hard to the end. Three, two, active recovery, you know what to do. Slip left, lead uppercut. Slip left, lead uppercut. Now again, you can throw some jabs in between that to establish distance between you and your opponent between you and the heavy bag, for shadow boxing, just a nice long range jab. 15 seconds. You know, you can always mix it up. Throw, if something feels natural to throw off these combos, then you should throw it, you should try it. Three, two, one, very good. Here's your next boxing combo. Round number four, one, two, one, two, cover. Jab, cross, jab, cross, cover. Fast hands, let's go. If you want a harder option, this one is tough. It's a half burpee and a hook. Land in a boxing stance and throw a hook from the rear side and then throw a hook from the lead side after every sprawl. One, two, one, two, cover. Which one are you doing? Remember, you have to finish what you started. Let's get it. One, two, one, two, cover. One, two, one, two, cover. Yes. How hard are you throwing those one, two, one, twos? Don't forget to cover after block another counter shot, counter jab coming in. Step left or right a little bit. Come on, come on, we gotta work, finish strong. We're working, we're towards the end of your 30 minute heavy bake hit workout. You need to push through every set to finish strong. 15 seconds. You can step between combinations. You know boxing workouts are tough. Four, three, two, one, very good, let's go. Step to the rear side, then throw a rear hook. So you're stepping right and then throw a rear hook. Step right four. Easy, easy, nice and calm. Move around the bag, practice footwork. Throw on that rear hook after you step to the rear side. Now some of you might be asking, do you wrap your hands every workout? I absolutely do wrap my hands every workout. It doesn't matter if it's a 10 minute or 30 minute workout, I wrap my hands every time. One, two, one, two, cover. Let's go. Jab, cross, jab, cross, cover, hit. One, two, one, two, cover. One, two, one, two, cover. Again, when your shoulders start to tired and they will here, use your abs to allow you to extend your arms full range. Use your breath to allow you to be calm and powerful at the same time. And of course your motivation 
to get you through these tough rounds. Finish what you started, champions. Come on, 20 seconds. There's a thousand people doing this workout. You need to finish in the top 1%. Six, five, four, three, two, active recovery. Step to the rear side, throw that rear hook. Great job. Excellent work. Again, you're calm, you're relaxed, you got this. Again, that rear hook can be to the body or to the head. It's okay, you can decide what you want to do. I prefer when I step to throw it to the body typically. That's just what is in my system, what's been trained. Okay guys, let's go one more time. One, two, one, two, cover. You ready? Let's go. One, two, one, two, cover. One, two, one, two, cover. One, two, one, two, cover. Come on, come on. You heard it from me. Finish in the top 1%. That means you have to work max effort. Build up your shoulder stamina. Get lean. Push through. Lose weight. That's what you want to accomplish in this workout, so you have to earn it. 15 seconds before your last act of recovery. In round number four, one, two, one, two, cover. One, two, one, two, cover. That's what I'm talking about. A little more power in the last right hand. One, two, one, two, cover. One, two, one, two, cover. Let's go. Step right, rear hook, last time. You got it, you know what's up. Step to the rear side, throw a rear hook. That's it, simple. Nothing complicated. Keep it sharp, keep it simple. Yeah, I love it. Body's on fire. You're focused, we're getting it done. Here's your next combo. Round number five, three punches. <laughs> Move, bah, bah. whatever punches you want. Let's go guys, this is your only option for round number five, three punches and move at my pace or better. You gotta dig in, step up and step in to round number five before we hit your challenge, okay? Come on. Three punches and move, go. One, two, three, move. One, two, three, move. Fast hands or power, what are you working? One, two, three, move. Switch up your combinations. Switch up your levels, your angles. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Thirty seconds, squad. Thirty seconds. Come on. Finish at the pace you started. Try to do that. If you have to take a quick second to shake out your hands, of course you can do that. If you're new to the channel, work at a nice, consistent pace to get these workouts done. And then work at a little harder pace every time you go through it. Three, two, one. Again, work jabs or crosses. You can work jabs for the first set, crosses the second set, or just mix it up between jabs and crosses. Up to you. If you're working jabs, establish your distance again. Are you working inside jabs, outside jabs? Are they powerful? Are they sharp and tight? How do they feel? When you're tired, tie yourself. I want to be strong and balanced. Don't show signs of fatigue. Let's go. Three punches and move. Ready? Go. Bop, bop, bop. Move. Bop, bop, bop. Move. Bop, bop, bop. Move. Yeah, that's it. Don't hold back on me, you guys. There's nothing to hold back for. We have to finish strong. You got it. 
Once you feel the flow, let your hands go. Thirty seconds. Are you changing up your boxing combos? There you go. Change it up a little bit. Show me a different look. Don't hold your breath. You gotta breathe with every punch. Fifteen seconds. Don't slow down on me now. Come on, pick it up. There you go. It's in you. It's like blood. It's in you to give. Come on, guys. Five, four, three, two. Let's go. If you work jabs, last one, you can work crosses here or again, or just mix it up. Crosses and jabs, jabs and crosses. Come on. That's it. You're good. Easy work. Easy work. Easy work. You got it. Flow through it. Get it done. Five, four, three, two. Now we're going to work four punches and move. I want four shots. Let's go. Come on. Hit. Four punches. It's your hit set. Four punches. This is your last round, your last set of hit before your final challenge. Four shots, move, come on. Finishing the top 1% of the output, the effort, the intensity on this 30 minute heavy bake hit workout. Yes, come on, boxing combinations in a 30 minute workout. Boxing is incredible for that. It's an incredible way to challenge your mental and physical strength, to lose weight, to lean out, to build shoulder, upper body, full body stamina. Let's go. 10 seconds. Four, three, two, one. Let's work jabs and crosses in your last active recovery. Come on. Now again, what's important is that when you're in your active recoveries or you're trying to recover, you want to tell yourself, I always tell myself, okay, feel strong, be strong, even though I'm trying to recover or I'm tired, be strong. Great job. Here is your last piece. Your finisher is a lunge, one, two. Again, get in that lunge position. I want you to throw one twos on the heavy bag while holding that position for 90 seconds. Get ready, left foot forward. Three, two, one, go. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Let's go. You want to be at a pretty long range so that you have to extend your arms out because the rotation of your torso is what burns your leg a lot. <laughs> and if you've done the 30 minute heavy bag hit workout on the channel already, you know what that feels like. Let's go. One, two is a little faster. One minute. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Drop the back knee a little deeper. There you go. Come on, 40 seconds. Don't give in on me, don't give it. Drop the back knee a little bit. Don't stand up straight. If you feel that back leg straightening out, you gotta dip and then let the hands rip. 30 seconds, you can do this. Punch a little harder now. Your full body fatigue kicks in, but you go through that, you bypass that. especially for 15 more seconds. We can do it, we can make it happen, and we will. Long range, strong punches. 
finish up in five, four, three, two, one. Stand it up. Feel that. And let's get ready with your right foot forward in 30 seconds. Great job. All right, let's get position. The right foot is forward. You know what to do. You pick your speed with the one twos. How fast do you want to punch? Go. One two, one two, one two, one two, one two. Or maybe it's a little slower and more power. One two, one two. But again, full range. Get your shoulders to rotate. So you have to stabilize more on that lead leg. Drop the back knee some. Drop the back knee some. Drop the back knee, drop the back knee. Keep punching, keep punching, good. Don't let your stance get too, too wide. Turn the shoulders, rotate the torso into the lead leg. Come on, do not stand up, you know the deal. You cannot stand up straight. Keep that back knee closer to the ground. Thirty seconds. Yes. Come on, squad. You're with. We're we're in this. We're both in this. We're all in this. Finish what you started. Seventeen. Sixteen. Fifteen. Come on. Oh man, let's go. Six, five, four, three, two. One, and bring it up. Whew. It burns in the best way ever. That was a tough workout. A 30-minute heavy bag hit workout as part of your Boxing for Weight Loss playlist. Workout number seven. Go through these workouts one to seven repeatedly for up to 90 days. Take a break whenever you need one every couple of days and wait till you see the results. And of course, subscribe, put on the notifications so you get access to all my workouts as soon as they hit YouTube. Good job, guys. If you want premium workouts, you got to hit this link.